Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another commentary video for you. I would like to discuss why is Adidas selling Yeezys again? Let's get into it. So I don't know if you guys have noticed or have you guys been seeing, but recently Adidas has been, I feel like subtly promoting or having these Yeezy drops. Now I've been getting email notifications like with a Yeezy shoe saying, you know, it's on the confirm app where you can try to go in and get your Yeezys on the release date. So I saw that for several shoes, you know, over the last few weeks and I was quite confused. So then I didn't pay much attention though to like the Yeezy release. I just wasn't interested in the products necessarily. So I wasn't, you know, looking to see like when the drops were or anything. But then I did see an article where Kanye um, commented on this. I think he posted something on his Instagram stories where he was basically saying Adidas is releasing these designs. This was like not approved by him. These weren't like colorways, something to that effect. Like these weren't the colorways he chose um, or designed. So basically Kanye was opposed to these um, drops, these easy drops. And it was just interesting because I just kind of continued to sit back and see how everything played out. But as it continued to play out, what I saw was the drops just continued for Adidas. So again, I feel like every other day there is this new release. So it started to like have me think, you know, while we don't know the legalities of whatever contract Kanye had with Adidas, where I'm sure, you know, they have the rights to sell these um, products. Maybe they own the, the design or or whatever but the point is if they were legally able to do so should they still have done it now let's rewind for anyone who isn't aware kind of like what happened but back in the fall of 2022 Kanye um, made some very disturbing comments and you know it was quite offensive and shortly thereafter, it was in October 2022, Adidas released a statement basically cutting all ties with Kanye, um, saying they basically don't stand by the remarks he made and there would be an investigation carried out. But then they said they will immediately halt both the production of its Yeezy product lines and payments to Ye and his businesses. So basically at that time in October, 2022, what Adidas said was we're halting our production. So it didn't say they wouldn't sell products in the future, but my thought is if they were cutting ties with Kanye based off of the offensive remarks he made, what's changed now? So they cut ties because they felt like it was the, the correct thing to do. It was the moral, the ethical thing to do, right? So everyone knows those designs are by Kanye. So if you don't want to be associated with him based on moral, like I said, ethical grounds, why would you then... A couple of years later, like, I don't know if they thought we forgot about all of this, but a couple of years later, start dropping his design, something that is basically synonymous with Kanye are his easy um, shoes, like the sneakers, the, the slides. So it's very representative of him. Why, why do that if you don't want to be associated with him because of... Um, offensive remarks he made and I'd really like to hear you guys comments um down below about this I think this is definitely a discussion we can continue to have but I just find that to be such 
such very contradictory but also it just feels almost as if it's all just really this sells this works for us this formula works it feels a little lazy on the brand's part like go on to the next best thing adidas don't like redo this that honestly the yeezys especially the yeezy boost 350 guys in my opinion are super dated and it's just i don't know who would be buying them anyways in 2024 but i feel like those are very 2015 2016 and it just looks so dated so like i said i don't know who's even still trying to buy a pair of boost 30 350s but going back to the the point i was making which was it feels very contradictory and like i said lazy because again why aren't we like on to the next best thing but it almost kind of realigns them with kanye and i thought the entire pur purpose of you know not working with him was to not be associated with him so why sell his designs? I just, I really don't get it. I'd honestly love to hear you guys' thoughts on this entire topic. What do you think about the Yeezy 350s currently? Like, would you still uh, rock a pair? Would you still buy a pair? Um, like I said, in my opinion, I feel like they're very dated at this point. But I'd like to hear what you guys are um, thinking. There's probably some fans out there who want a pair I mean I don't know I just I just feel like the time has passed for that and it feels a little almost cringe that they're even doing that because it, yeah the time the time has passed for um easy for adidas in my opinion so yes guys let's continue this discussion in the comment section below like I said I would love to hear your thoughts also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. I like doing this comment commentary kind of podcast style um, segments and I kind of talk about more um, current issues or fashion news in this video style of the commentary. So give me a thumbs up if you do like that type of content. And if you aren't subscribed, definitely subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And thank you guys so much for watching. And till next time.